Hi, this is Ben Lim. In this video, I would like to share with you how to choose a good quality of papaya. In this video also, I will to share with you how to identify whether this papaya is unripe or ripe or overripe or which one the papaya is rotten papaya. And I would like to share with you also how to keep the papaya, store it longer. Let's check it out. First one. When you want to know the papaya whether it's ripe or unripe, you do need to use the papaya by smelling like this. You no need to smell the papaya. The papaya actually, uh, some people say that it's the smell, but for me, I can't smell it because my nose is not very sensitive. So for those who are, if let's say you are, right, your nose is not really sensitive, you can't smell the papaya, you no need to use like this because uh, I was grew up in my family with the fruit business so I, I saw my father every day to choose a good quality of papaya I never see my father how to smell to choose the papaya he didn't do like that he teach me how to choose a good papaya by a finger by a thumbs of finger so no matter what is the papaya the skin is green color or yellow color do not let the skin color to cheat you because sometimes the papaya color is cheat on you so do not identify on color identify of the softness of the papaya so when you're using your finger thumbs to press the papaya head right so this is the papaya head and this is the papaya tail right this is a papaya body this is the head when using your finger uh, using your finger thumbs nail to press the papaya head why i want to press the papaya head because when you see the papaya tree they grew up like this not like this right so this is the papaya stem they are growing on the tree so when the papaya right is starting right on the head first when the papaya is going to right or over right they will start to softness by softness until here is going to soft from head until tail right so when you want to know that this papaya is ripe or unripe the softness the papaya the ripeness of the papaya it also means that the papaya is sweet enough if let's say the papaya is soft if the papaya is still hard it means that the papaya is not so sweet yet because it's not ripe yet so do not judge on the skin color judge on your finger tails finger thumbs nail to press it whether it's soft or hard right so like this papaya this papaya is already ripe inside is the totally red color if let's say you plan to buy a papaya are uh, not going to start to cut you want to stand longer earlier or you lazy to go out uh, every day to buy a papaya or any other fruits you want to store it longer to maybe you want to like example you want to eat starting to eat uh, after three days or four days of the papaya so make sure you choose the papaya is hard firstly is hard enough and then the papaya the skin of the papaya you don't choose the papaya is totally green like this totally no yellow at all right so do not choose the papaya totally green color this papaya would not be right honestly to tell you this would not right you have to choose this papaya slightly yellowish inside on the skin do not rely too much of the skin the color of the skin papaya because some of the papaya they will judge by softness all right so softness you will know that this papaya is going to ripe so if let's say you are not eat too earlier you want to eat late some more few after few days you want to keep it maybe you want to buy two three pieces together uh, to, to stand more longer so you have to buy a papaya green color of course uh, I know that I told you do not judge on the skin but sometimes you want to keep longer you not you are not eat too earlier so you have to buy green papaya 
but not too green like this a uh, slightly yellow color so this will be going going to and then how to know that the papaya is spoiled or rotten very easy when the papaya is right on the head it also spoils starting on head when you see the papaya head you try to press it the skin will turns out rotten right you will feel wet like this one this papaya is going to rotten when you press the papaya head the skin you tear up with the papaya fresh or papaya water it means this papaya is overripe and you see the papaya skin is still old uh, very the skin it looks uh, darker not so bright and this papaya fresh is still bright and this papaya overripe papaya is very dark uh, not it looks old uh, the skin it looks not nice when you when you touch the skin the papaya skin the skin of the papaya is going is tear up all right it's still up so it's going to spoil so this is a, a rotten papaya so how to keep or store papaya stand longer so what can we do is we are using a piece of the newspaper right so you just take a piece of newspaper to rub with the papaya you need to rub starting on the head you have to start to rub the papaya on the head like this you can start like this All right so just rub with this papaya make sure don't touch any any other fruits or food so rub with this papaya and store into a fridge so you can stand this papaya about three to five days if let's say you keep better if let's say you choose the papaya very soft it can only stand about three to four days in the fridge so do if let's say your papaya is already cut already cut papaya is cannot stand too long day too long time it's only can keep about one to two day if let's say your papaya already cut like this it's only keep about one to two days this is the video today i would like to share with you how to choose a good quality of the papaya if you feel this video can help you to learn more about the fruits just click the like button and share to your friend who want to learn more about the fruit if let's say you want to learn more about the fruit you just comment below let me know what the fruit you want to learn how to cut how to choose how to pick a good quality of the fruit just comment below let me know your comment your likes your share is a motivation to let me create more video thank you very much